video we will try to solve the questions that were asked in today's jksb finance account assistant exam that was conducted on 6th march uh, 2022 the question the first question is like this in 1991 as a setup of economic reform uh, to help resolve the balance of payment crisis what treatment was given to the value of indian rupee the options were given as it was devaluated uh, its value was appreciated it faced rapid inflation or its value remained stable the correct option is it was devaluated actually devaluation means a deliberate uh, downward adjustment in official exchange rate okay so uh, with devaluation what happened uh, exports became cheaper exports became uh, cheaper and imports became costlier okay so with that uh, balance of payment uh, crisis was solved this was one of the step uh, to resolve the balance of payment crisis okay and uh, by devaluation what we mean if uh, simply it means if one us dollar is equal to let us say uh, 40 rupees okay if we devaluate uh, then one us dollar becomes let us say 50 rupees okay this means devaluation of the indian rupee uh, next question is uh, like this if the price of an article is above the equilibrium price then there is the options are surplus in the market shortage in the market more demand than what can be supplied uh, equilibrium in the market okay so we have let us say this is our uh, graph or uh, this is our demand curve this is our supply curve okay equilibrium occurs at the intersection of demand and supply so if price of an article is above the equilibrium price let us say price is here let us say this is p1 and this is p2 if price is p2 we can see there is demand is less and supply is more okay so in this case we have what we call surplus in the market okay the correct option should be option a that means we have the excess supply in the market okay uh, next question was uh, Ricardo assumes a law of diminishing the options where actual returns, marginal returns, uh, surplus returns, or total returns. Okay, so uh, Ricardo was a classical economist who gave the labor theory of uh, value, a uh, labor theory of uh, value, and he assumes the diminishing marginal returns. Okay, by diminishing marginal uh, returns, what we mean, we mean after uh, some diminishing marginal returns uh, means after some optimal uh, level of capacity is reached uh, additional factors of production will actually result in smaller increase in output okay so we get uh, lesser and lesser uh, output as we increase the factors of production in this case the labor okay so the correct option is uh, diminishing marginal returns uh, next question is uh, to determine economic growth uh, the GDP is compared to the population also known as the options are uh, real gross product income total product or per capita income obviously it should be per capita income so per capita income is simply our GDP upon population okay when we divide uh, GDP by total population we get per capita income uh, next question is uh, among the given options dash dash will uh, reduce budget deficit okay so the options are reduction in the government expenditure increase in government expenditure decrease in exports or increase in imports okay by uh, budget deficit what we mean we simply mean when government spends when government uh, spends more okay in a given year then it uh, collectors in revenue okay when spending is uh, greater than revenue so when spending is greater than the revenue that is being received we have budget deficit now to correct the budget deficit what will we use we will reduce the government expenditure so the correct option should be option a a reduction in government expenditure will reduce budget deficit uh, next question is uh, among the given methods which approach is used to measure national income by summing up 
the flow of factor income is received by labor capital land and entrepreneurship okay so the options are domestic product approach expenditure approach national product approach or income approach the correct uh, option should be option d income approach will be the correct uh, correct option in this case because income approach calculates the income earned by all factors of production in an economy what are the factors of production in economy we have land is a factor of uh, production of economy and it receives wages as we know and similarly we have a land a land uh, receives rent and capital uh, receives interest and profits okay so the correct option should be uh, income approach next question is as per the economic scholars dash was excluded from definition of factor of production okay the options are land money capital or labor obviously the correct option should be money because uh, the factors of production are uh, land we have land as a factor of production we have labor labor we have capital and we have entrepreneurship okay and obviously money should not be uh, in question okay the correct option is b next question is indifference curves are dash to the origin representing marginal uh, substitution the options are convex sorry concave convex hyperbolic or parabolic now what is the indifference curve so we have the indifference curve like this uh, for an indifference curve to have a convex shaped to have a convex uh, shape uh, sorry marginal rate of marginal let us say we have product x here good x and good y here now convexity of the indifference curve is given by when we have marginal rate of substitution of x for y falls as more of x is substituted for y okay so we have diminishing marginal rate of substitution between x and y and then we have a convex shaped indifference curve so the correct option should be convex in this question next question is which among the given techniques analytical tool is used to craft fiscal policy the options are microeconomics macroeconomics individual investment planning or depreciation so um, by fiscal policy what we mean fiscal policy refers to use of government spending government spending and tax policies to influence the macroeconomic conditions in an economy so the correct option should be macroeconomics next question is in a frequency distribution the median and mean is 12 and 13 find mode we need to find out the mode now the formula for mode is simple we have mode is equal to 3 times median uh, minus 2 times mean okay now median is 12 so we can write 3 into 12 uh, minus and mean is being given as 13 so we have 2 into 13 which is 36 minus Uh, we have 2 into 13 uh, that comes out to be 26 so which is 36 minus 26 comes out to be 20 so the correct option should be option b next question is uh, find the median of the following data we are being given the data is it is here we have to find the median of this data so how do we find median first step is uh, write this data in ascending order so we write this very data in ascending order that means we have 5 first then we have 8 we have 12 15 17 21 23 we have 33 we have 36 we have 37 we have 45 and 51 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 observations. Now median is calculated by the formula. If we have even number of observations, median is equal to 
and that means total number of observation is upon 2 okay so median is n upon 2 th observation okay so we have 12 upon 2 which comes out to be sixth observation will be our median so what is our sixth observation this is first second third fourth fifth sixth that means this 21 will be the median of this observation okay of this data next question is ram and sham toss three unbiased coins simultaneously sham wins if he gets at least two tails okay find the probability that sham wins we have to find out uh, the probability that sham wins if three unbiased coins are tossed simultaneously so what will be uh, the sample space in this case so if three coins are tossed so let us uh, write the sample space here we would we can get actually tail in the first tail in the second and tail in the third uh, coin or we can get tail tail head similarly we have tail head tail we have head tail tail then tail head 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 tail head 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 tail and head 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 so we have eight sample space now to get at least two tailors so we can see here in the first uh, uh, space we have three tailors so this will be our favorable case in the second we have two tailors in the third we have two tailors in the fourth we have two tailors and in these observations we have only one tail so the probability of getting at least two tailors okay at least two tails is equal to number of favorable cases so we have one two three four number of favorable cases and total number of simple spaces we have eight different combinations here so this comes out to be one upon two so the probability of getting at least two tails in the simultaneous toss of three unbiased coins will be one upon two okay uh, next question is in india around 17 lakh 25980 people will die from dengue in 2022 the population of india in 2022 is uh, 135 crore 50 lakh we need to find out the mortality rate per thousand now mortality rate per thousand is equal to a number of deaths number of deaths divided by total population total population into 1000 okay so if we divide these two numbers if we divide these two numbers that is 17 25 980 upon 135 0 0 5 0 0 and we have one zero and if we multiply it by thousand so uh, we will get a number that is equal to 1.2 sorry 1.79 1.79 rounded off to second decimal place so the correct option should be 1.79 next question is if a is equal to 0 1 2 4 and we have another set b that is 1 3 5 then we need to find out a minus b into a intersection b okay so the formula is simple we have a minus b first we will uh, try to get a minus b so a minus b means a minus a intersection b okay now what is a intersection b this is our a this is b so a intersection b is so let me write it here our a intersection b will be uh, let us write it here so our a intersection b will be equal to so i will write it here this will be 0 1 2 4 intersection we have 1 3 5 1 3 5 obviously there are commas here 
so this comes out to be 1 so a intersection b comes out to be 1 now a minus a intersection b this is our a and a is being given as is uh, so in place of a i can write it as 0 1 2 4 then we have minus a intersection b we calculate it as 1 so this will give us 0 1 sorry we don't have 1 here uh, because 1 is here also so we have 0 2 4 okay this is our a minus a intersection b okay now we need to calculate a minus b into a intersection b therefore a minus b into a intersection b is equal to now a minus b uh, we have calculated a minus b is 0 2 4 to this if we multiply our a intersection b a intersection b we have calculated here that is 1 so we have 0 into 1 that will be this set then we have 2 into 1 this set then we have 4 into 1 4 into 1 this set so the correct option should be a option i know that uh, it got messy here so i apologize for that very next question is the sum of two numbers is 18 the sum of the reciprocal of those two numbers is 1 upon 4 the numbers are 12 and 6 10 8 9 9 or 11 and 7 let us see let us say we have two numbers x and y and we are being told the sum of these two numbers is equal to 18 also we are being told the reciprocal of these numbers and the sum in turn is equal to 1 upon 4 that means 1 upon x plus 1 upon y is equal to 1 upon 4 okay if we solve this which implies x plus y upon x y is equal to 1 upon 4 so x plus y is being given as is 18 so i can write it like this 18 upon x y is equal to 1 upon 4 so which implies x into y should be equal to 18 into 4 which is 72 so the product of the two numbers is 72 let us see in the uh, options whether we have the product equal to 72 or not now 12 6 is 72 this should be correct because here we get 10 8s are 80, 9 9s are 81, 11 7s are 77. So the correct option should be 12 and 6 because x into y should be equal to 72. So 12 into 6 is 72 here. Next question is in how many ways 8 students can be seated on 8 chairs? The options are 8, 8c1, that is 8 combination 1, 8p1 and 64. So the correct option should be 8. Let me write it here. 8 p 8 okay and this comes out to be actually factorial 8 that means we have 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that very amount of arrangements okay so the correct option should be c option 8 p 8